guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Dimma today's video is going to be a quick one it's going to be an eyeshadow tutorial I'm basically going to show you guys in this video how to blend eyeshadow how to place colors how to cut your crease I've done an eyeshadow do's and don'ts before on this channel a couple of years ago I'm going to have that video linked in the description box but that video I kind of did a soft blend I did not cut my crease and most of the time I think that people think of cut crease and they you know the way people get when they think of eyeliner or mascara that's how people tend to get when they think of cut crease it should not be like that i'm going to show you guys a very easy way to cut your crease how to place colors all of that that's all we're going to be doing in this video and trust me guys by the time you're done you're going to see that it's not as hard as you thought it was so let's start so i filled my brows really quickly just to save time if you want to see a detailed eyebrow routine video from me please check the description box i'm going to have it linked there in that video i showed how to do your brows two different ways so i'm going to be focusing on eyeshadow you know brows tend to take a little bit of time so i didn't want to include them in this video but i'll have a brow routine in the description box so the first thing that you want to do is prime your eyes. I'm going to be using the ABH Eye Primer for this. Any eyeshadow primer you have will do. If you also have a mattifying concealer or a concealer that is very matte, use that as well and just make sure to blend it in properly and set it. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. This one has some color to it, so you have to take your time to blend it in to make sure that everything is seamless. If you prefer a clear primer, which I actually do most of the time, it's just that my favorite clear primer, I've run out of it. It's the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour. Our extend eye base the name is a mouthful but that primer is really good so if you're going to be using any primer that has some color payoff to it or concealer just take your time to blend it in just take your time this one is very very good when it comes to controlling oil depending on the eyeshadow primer you may have to set with some of them you don't this one I'm definitely going to set if you're using a concealer for sure please make sure you set the primer that you've applied with a translucent powder okay so going to go in with a blending brush just to make sure that that blend is seamless okay some setting powder this is my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder just going to pat it into this area guys I'm making sure to set my crease okay because that's where your eyes start creasing from where there's a fold so make sure that you put enough powder in there before you continue okay for this look I am going to be using these eyeshadow palettes by Huda Beauty. These are the new Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. And there's caramel, there's chocolate, and there's toffee. Okay? First palette that I'm going to use is this one, caramel. And this orange shade here is the first one that I am going to go in with. Okay, so with every eyeshadow application, I would say that it doesn't matter whether or not you're creating a cut crease. What you want to do is to make sure that you have a transition shade. And the orange shade that I just showed you guys now, or the, you know, the burnt orange shade that I showed you guys, is the perfect shade that I have found for people my skin tone, okay? It doesn't matter what other colors you're applying. This is a very, very good shade to use as a transition shade so what you do with this shade is you apply it above your crease I'm not going to apply it just only on my crease I can take it down all the way into this area but where you want this color to be is in this area here just above your crease and I think that putting it above your crease is especially important for people who like me you don't have a deep set crease you don't have like big lid space right so what this shade basically does is that it's going to help you blend out colors that you're going to apply on the top and colors that you're going to apply in your crease especially the darker colors so this is very 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 important make sure that you have a transition shade okay and it's always best that you apply this with a very fluffy blending brush this is the mac 224 the name has rubbed off i've had this for a very long time so you need a fluffy brush something like this something that flares out this is what you need so sometimes when i'm applying eyeshadow the crease color can actually come after the lid color for me that's not what you get with a cut crease if you're doing a cut crease you have to apply your crease color first before applying your lid color so the color that i want to apply on my crease is from the chocolate palette this very dark brown here i am using a small pencil brush something that just kind of you know narrows a bit towards the tip and I'm going to just start packing that color into this area. Okay, so after I've placed the color, I'll go in with another blending brush. This one looks like this. This is the Zoeva Soft Blender, and I'm going to take that 
right and just start blending that color that i've placed on my outer eye area into my crease you want that area to be very dark but you also want it to be very soft you want to have a nice gradient before you actually cut So I want my crease to be darker still. I'm going to go in with this brown from one of the earliest like Obsessions palettes. This one is Topaz and I'm going to pack that brown into my outer corner and then drag it inwards. The same thing that I did with the other brown. Okay, going to cut my crease now. I'll be using the P. Louise base in room of four. This is a primer, but then it comes in different colors that kind of mimic different skin tones. And you don't need to have this. You can use a concealer if you have a concealer. So I've put some on the back of my hand with a very flat angled brush. Any flat brush you have will do. It doesn't have to be angled. You can even have a round top, but you have to make sure that the brush is very flat, okay? So going to show you guys now how I cut my crease. So what I like to do is I like to look up okay and i like to cut my crease above my actual crease so my crease is where i have this fold now and i don't like to put it in here because one let me tell you guys the reason why let's say that you don't use a good primer and you cut your crease directly in this area when it starts creasing it messes up the line that you've created for the cut crease immediately like it messes it up immediately right two the reason why i don't like to cut where my actual crease is is because when you cut slightly above your crease it makes your eyes look a lot wider makes it look a lot more open especially for someone who has my eye shape or someone who doesn't have a deep set crease or someone who doesn't have a lot of lid space this also works great for people with hooded eyes if you have hooded eyes you don't necessarily want to cut where your crease is you want to cut above your actual crease so just keep your eyes, you know how you keep your hands steady when you're lining your eyes? Place these fingers on your cheekbones just to give your hand some balance, make it steady. So what I like to do is before I start filling in the area that I've just cut, I'll cut the other eye as well just so that I make sure that things are even. So I've cut the other one and they both look even. So it's you just basically taking this and drawing a C or making a curve, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to begin to fill that in. Depending on the type of look that you're going for, you can actually take this a lot higher. But then if you're looking to keep things kind of normal, like, you know, average eyeshadow application, eyelid, crease color, all of that, just take it slightly past your actual crease. Anything, maybe let's say here, it's very, very obvious that you've done a very dramatic cut, which there's nothing bad with that. But then if you're looking for like just regular type eyeshadow placement, then that might be a bit too dramatic for you. I hope that this explanation made sense, but yeah. So at this point, this is how it looks and I think that this is okay. I'm going to start applying my eyeshadow now. You see that I didn't really take this all the way into this area. You can actually also do this and just kind of wing it out if you like. There are so many ways to do this but like I told you guys, I'm going for like average, you know, regular eyeshadow placement with this tutorial. First shade that I'll be applying is this one. It's a very nice like sunset gold and I'm going to just apply this on the center of my eyelids just on the center that's why i am focusing or packing that shade so you can see that i'm applying it on the center but then i'm not i'm not taking it all the way to where the line is okay so to apply the eyeshadow around the place where i created the line i'm going to use a smaller brush okay you can do this after every color or you can just apply all the colors that you want to apply on your eyelid and then go in and do this. So the Toffee Brown Eyeshadow Palette, I'll take this shade here. So I'm applying this right in front of that sunset gold and I'm taking it inwards as well. Okay, so let's say that you're not using the exact colors that I'm using. You're using maybe purple green eyeshadows. The same thing just applies. Start with a color, go in with one that is in the same family as it, but slightly lighter. And then lastly, you're going to go in with another color in that same family, but lighter than the second one that you applied. So with a small eyeshadow brush, this time around one of the smallest ones that I own, I'm going to take 
this shade here. This is the lightest in this palette. Last shade that I'll be applying on my lid is this one here. So that's what I'm going to use to cover up the messy edge of the primer slash concealer that I applied. And it's also very, very similar to the shade that I applied on my crease and in this area here. But the only thing is just that it is... It has some shimmer in it so i'm going to try to just like swirl this in circles to blend that brown very nicely into the gold that i applied on the center see so this shade that i use the first shade that i used i'm going to use that in this area to blend out any harsh lines and also just to add some warmth so you guys can see that I have a very nice cut crease, very nice gradient as well. So this is completely optional. I'm going to line my eyes. This is the Dabota Gel Liner in dark brown. Like I said, this is optional to be honest. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do a very thin line. I'm not going to wing it out. So I'm going to apply mascara real quick. This is by Path McGrath Labs. Hold on, I'm going to give you guys the name of this particular one. This is my lashes for this look. I'm going to pop these on now. So more mascara. So to finish this look up, I am going to apply some liner to my waterline and this is the huda beauty life liner so i think that my eyes look really really good right now i think that this look has turned out good so far um you guys can see that at this stage that i don't have foundation on my skin this is just out of habit and because i don't like dealing with fallout after i've applied foundation on my skin but then the last part of my eye makeup or this eye look i have to do it after i've done the rest of my makeup so i'll apply the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back so to finish this look off i'm going to take some of that brown that i applied on my crease earlier and i'll smudge this on my lower lash line so this shade okay So I'm going to apply some mascara. This is my Ingla Lash Enhancer Mascara. So this is the finished look. I kept everything really neutral, my lips neutral, the rest of my face neutral, just to complement the gold that I have on my eyes. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you've been struggling with the cut crease technique, I hope that this video simplified it for you. Share this video with anyone who you think is going to like it or learn a thing or two from it um give it a thumbs up giving this video a thumbs up is going to help others like really see it and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed i'll see you guys in my next one Mwah.